Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the corded ridge crochet stitch pattern. It's really cool. You can do so many different things with it, and there's definitely some differences in this pattern that are going to intrigue you, I'm sure. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways, and you are not going to want to miss out. The corded ridge crochet stitch pattern is definitely one that's going to include some stitches that are going to make you pay attention. So as we are going along with this, just try to follow along and see exactly where I am placing the crochets the crochet hook here. This is considered an intermediate pattern, but I definitely think that if I can explain this slow enough that uh, an advanced beginner may be able to pick this up as well. It's not super complicated, but it's very different than your normal stitches. So we're gonna begin with a long enough tail to weave in any ends at the end of our project. I'm just gonna create a small swatch to get through each row faster and explain things quicker for you. Creating your slip knot, attaching your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. So the corded ridge crochet pattern is worked in any multiple stitches plus two. So you could literally just chain as long as you want your project to be for a blanket, for a scarf, for a beanie, whatever project you are working on here, and then add two for your turning chain off of your foundation row. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work a couple stitches here. All right, there we go. And then plus two, <laughs> plus two, like it really mattered, but there we go. Okay, so for row one of the corded ridge crochet pattern, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So counting our V stitches, one, two, three, four, double crochet. Those skipped three chains here do count as your very first double crochet stitch. And then for the rest of row one, we are just making one double crochet stitch pattern in each chain all the way across. So go ahead and do that real quick and I'll meet you at the end of row one to show you how we get on to row two. And last double crochet stitch for row one. Perfect. All right, so for row two, we are going to chain one, but we do not turn. Every row that we are going to be working on is going to be worked on the exact same side of this work. We never turn our work. And that is one of the intriguing things about the corded ridge crochet stitch pattern. We never turn to work the wrong side. We're always gonna be working the right side of the work. We will be working a single crochet stitch in the front loop only of every double crochet stitch here. Okay, so here's how it's gonna work. And we're going to utilize the claw really heavily here. We're gonna take our crochet hook. We're gonna come from the front of the stitch, go underneath just that front loop only, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two for that single crochet stitch. Then next double crochet stitch here, gonna take our claw on our crochet hook, go from the front inward, picking up that front loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now let me see if I can actually get this closer for you so you can really see what I'm doing here. So here, Here's that next crochet, double crochet stitch here. I'm gonna take my claw from the front and then here. I'm only picking up, so here's the V stitch on the top, the front loop only. I'm leaving behind the back loop. Then I'm gonna yarn over, pull that yarn through and then yarn over and pull through the two loops for that single crochet stitch. What this does 
is it creates a cord-like look. And it's really hard to see it at first. It looks kind of like a mess. So look at what mine looks like now just to kind of gauge what yours looks like. You want to get further along to really see it. So next stitch, picking up that front loop only. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the two loops. Let's work this consistently a little further and then you will really see that cord look. Right, coming to the end of this row. And then when you see those chain threes here, you're going to actually slip stitch into the third loop here, the third chain, slip stitch into the front loop only. So continue by grabbing that front loop only. Yarn over, pull through, but this time pull that all the way through the loop on your crochet hook for that slip stitch. Now here is that cord might look a little rough, but that's okay. As we work, you, it will really start to make its own pronounced appreciation. You, you will see as we continue to work. But that is that cord look right there. And now let's move on to row three. So for row three, we will chain three. One, two, three. And we do not turn. We are still working this same side but what we are going to be doing is making a double crochet stitch in that back loop that got left behind because we worked this cord or that single crochet stitch in the front loop only. We're gonna be working a double crochet stitch in that leftover back loop only. All right, so skipping the first stitch or that slip stitch that we had made on the top of the third chain working the next stitch here, making a double crochet, just a, just a regular double crochet stitch. Now here is where you can count. So one, two, three. And whenever it comes to these double crochet stitch rows, I highly encourage you to count to make sure you are staying on count, staying on track always important to count your stitches so that way you don't have any parts of your work caving in or expanding out. One, two, and 11. That's what I counted. Now let me count the stitches below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Perfect. And then those chain threes. So 11 is my number. And that is what you will see right after row three. You're going to see this pronounced chord coming out of the work and it looks really neat. Especially if you were to use a variegated yarn or even a different color for this row, that would look really cool too. All right, and then this pattern is just repeating row two, row three, row two, row three, over and over, that's it. So the next thing we would do is just chain one and then work that reverse single crochet stitch front loop only in each stitch all the way across. Again, working that claw coming from the front of the stitch inward to achieve that cord look. I tried going from the inside out to do that single crochet front loop only, and it did not achieve the cord look. So make sure it's from the outside in, and that's it. I think the hardest thing about this pattern is going to be this reverse single crochet front loop only. But if you go slow and you know exactly where you're placing your crochet hook in that front loop only, grabbing just that front loop, poking all the way out, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the two loops. If you can achieve that, I think you got this pattern down. 
And this pattern creates a really cool, complicated look that will get people asking you, did you make that? How, how did you do that? <laughs> and I always love when that happens. So making it all the way to the end. And then again, remember that chain three that we do, you're just going to slip stitch into the top chain of that chain three, slip stitch to keep that side even. And then repeating row three, so chaining three, one, two, three. And I mean it guys, every row three, I highly encourage you to count your double crochet stitches to make sure you're staying on count. So skipping that slip stitch and working the next stitch over and counting one, two, just working a double crochet in that leftover back loop only. All right, so the only other thing I think there is left to say is to end this work, I would probably end this work on a row three with these double crochet stitches. That way you have it even with the double crochet first row and a double crochet last row. And then if you chose to work a border, it would be a flat, easy to work with row right there. I hope you had fun with this pattern. I hope you found it interesting and give it a try. If you liked this pattern or following along with this stitch, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. There are more crochet stitch patterns that I walk you through. And then if you would like, you can check out this video right here, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today and giving this a try. I hope you had fun. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.